Hi, I'm Heidi Alexandra, and you're watching UQTV. At UQ Power, we believe business is 100% a people game, and that your experience of work begins with you. Our vision is to see one million people inspired to volunteer their best work every day using their unique strengths. However, many people we work with tell us that some days they really loathe their work. They either feel overwhelmed or underwhelmed, and they're not sure how to get their spark back. So on today's episode of UQTV, I wanted to uplift your mood and brighten your day by showing you some simple tricks that you can use to make your own day so you can love your work again. Feeling down? Smile, cheer up, put on a happy face. Perhaps you think that that's just some random idea, but think again. Here's two happiness hacks that will have you faking it until you make it so that you can get happy again. Happiness hack number one, get Botox. Okay, so maybe this might be a bit extreme, but who knows? In future, companies may consider investing in Botox injections as part of their employee wellness programs. Why? Because new research suggests that it's possible to treat depression by paralyzing key facial muscles with Botox, which prevents people from frowning and having an unhappy face. An article in the New York Times recently discussed a study in the Journal of Psychiatric Research where a cosmetic dermatologist and a professor of psychiatry randomly assigned a group of 74 patients with major depression to receive either a Botox or a saline injection in those muscles on their forehead. Six weeks after the injection and 52% of the people who got Botox showed great relief from their depression, compared with only 15% of those with saline. The Botox studies suggest that there's a circuit between the brain and the muscles of facial expression, in which our brain monitors our face and responds by generating an appropriate feeling. Happiness hack number two, smile more. Simple actions and behaviours can shape our emotions and how we feel. Daniel Kahneman points out that being amused tends to make you smile more, and smiling tends to make you feel amused. So putting a pen in your mouth horizontally like so, can actually make you form a smile or an expression, which as a consequence makes you feel happier. You'll also find jokes funnier. In a recent study, college students who were asked to rate the humour of cartoons from the far side while they were holding a pen in their mouth found the cartoons funnier than those who were made to frown. Watch this one minute video my friend Babette Bensusen shared with me and see how quickly you can change your attitude. Let's start with a quick exercise. I'd like you to force your face into a smile. Don't just sit there, actually give it a go. Force your face into a smile. Now hold that expression. Everyone knows that when they feel happy, they smile. But research shows the opposite is also true. When you force your face into a smile, you start to feel happier. Keep smiling. The same is true of how you talk and even walk. If you put energy into your voice and a spring in your step, you'll suddenly feel much better. OK, you can stop smiling now. How do you feel? Did it work for you? I hope so. And next time you want a quick dose of delight, just spend 30 seconds or so behaving like a happy person. Now I'm not advocating you get Botox. Smiling has a similar effect. It's cheaper, it's always ready, and it's available without prescription. So when you're down or feeling blue, just smile. Smile when you talk on the phone. Smile when you sit at your desk. Smile when you respond to a customer's email. A simple act like that can take you just one second, but it can totally change your mood. If you smile and have a positive attitude, you can change others' moods too, because moods are contagious. And wouldn't that be a great thing for your workplace? Did you like this video? If so, share it with your team, your colleagues, and maybe even your boss. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on UQTV.